Okay, once we have made um, type, while it is still type, before we create outlines, we can warp that type. So if you have a piece of type selected for your name, um, while you're on the selection tool and there's a box around your name, you can go up to the control bar next to paragraph. There's this little arc. It says make envelope. If you click on that icon, it looks like a fan. You can get all of these warp options. I'll move my window over so you can see. It starts with arc, but we can have arc lower. Um, we can have arc upper. We can have arch. We can have bulge, um, shell, so any of these shapes, flag, um, so you can see what it would look like for, for doing that with your text. Um, so we're going to try a couple of these. Let's try arch. You can bend it. You can try horizontal or vertical. And you can bend your text whichever way you want arc or vertical arc or fish eye so if preview is checked you'll be able to see what you're looking at but you can change this flag um, and you can change the way it distorts just by putting it together like this I'm gonna click OK so now you'll see my name has been wavy on the warp type. So one more time, how you do that is you take your type tool and I'm gonna reset my text by clicking on the default. So you can reset your text for your type. And I'm gonna go to the type tool and I'm gonna type, I'm gonna type my name. I'm going to select this text by clicking on the arrow, which is V is a shortcut. I'll make it bigger so you can see it. Then I'm going to hit paragraph, make envelope. And I'm going to adjust this the way I would like for it to be. It's kind of like arc lower is kind of like Star Wars -y type. Click OK. And then you will see it there. If you want to edit this, you click on it with the selection tool. You go to the appearances panel over on the right, and you can edit contents. So you can edit the contents of the envelope that way. So, and you have your graphic styles and your appearances. So you could select and you can edit um, by clicking on these little mesh points. So each one of these little dots is an anchor point. If I click on the white arrow, I can take the dots and I can drag the dots where I would like for them to be. So you can also edit your text like that. That is all for the warp.